Great oh. Oh. Hey guys, welcome to Inside Ally Sports. I'm Alex Curry, and today we're taking you inside surf. One of the top big wave surfers in the world, Brad Gerlach, is a member of a new school of 40-something surfers who continue to impress. A former ASB world number one, founder of the National Surf League, and coach, The Gur, has seen it all. He's here to break down the current state of surf. Well, thank you for stopping by the Inside Alley Sports Studio, Brad. Yeah, thanks for having me. Of course. Now tell us, what have you been up to recently? I've been coaching and surfing and working out, <laughs> taking care of myself. <laughs> so let's talk about the World Tour right now. It's been great for the Australian surfers. We got the fourth contest right around the corner. What are your predictions? Well, I, I think John John's looking as one of the favorites going into Fiji. Exciting surfing from the young John John Florence. He's oh. surfing like a seasoned veteran. He's so talented in reef type waves that, uh, you know, growing up in the pipeline, pipeline to left, um, I think he's going to be one of the, the, the hardest guys to beat there. The Slater obviously will be very hard to beat there. Owen Wright um, hasn't had a, a big result yet, but, you know, he's goofy foot. You know, he could be a threat there and, and start his world championship campaign right there. But um, yeah, it'll just depend on the swell. It, it could be giant, which would be really exciting. If it's smaller, it might go towards maneuvers, you know, and in that sense, the, um, you know, it sort of opens it up a little bit more. Oh my goodness! Oh. Looking for that aerial. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if John John either finishes in the semis or, or, or wins it. And what have been the biggest surprises this year on the tour? I, I would have to say that 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 air reverse, that um, full rotation uh, air that Kelly did in, in, uh, at Bells was a big surprise and, and incredible, and so in, inspiring for an older guy doing you know the most progressive stuff out there. Here he goes. What was your take on that heat between Mick and Kelly? I think. You know, they had, they had kind of felt like Nick was serving really good. They scored him pretty high, and then not expecting that, um, that Kelly was going to do what he was going to do. Because I think in relation, if you look at what Nick's wave was and what Kelly's wave was, Kelly's wave was you know, probably two points better than Nick's, which means he should have gotten an 11. Well, I mean... <laughs> but that's yeah. happened in, that happens in the sport. That's why you'll see sometimes, you know, someone will get a really good wave, and they can score a 6.7, and you're like... Oh. I thought it was better than that. They're like holding back because they, th that's the beauty of the sport too is the unpredictability and how fast it's evolving and, and it's constantly changing. I mean, I think that's one of the most exciting things about our sport is it's constantly changing. Now, who are your top three that you think have a legit chance at the title? Yeah, I mean, Kelly is the kind of the guy, you know, because he's won so much before, so he has so much experience. Um, the dark horse would be John John, and it depends on this next event. And then the, and then you got Taj, Parco, and Mick, as kind of always within striking range. And Mick's won an event already this year. Those, those are the. That's the the main group right there. Now let's talk about John John. Now that you're a coach, and he just won his first World Tour event, what is he doing so right? I think John John just has a lot of confidence right now. He won in, at Margaret River, mm -hmm. and he got third at Lowers. Huge Jerry first. What? Winning markets and stuff was like definitely a big confidence booster for me. Just winning an event at a home, and then coming here and like this, this wave is so fun. I love coming here every single year, you know. And it's like the most rippable wave on the planet. He's just in rhythm with the ocean. He's just trying to tune in to where the best waves are, and that's usually how you win. Yeah. So Sandy has a shot. I, I definitely think he has a shot, and I, if if I were coaching him right now, I'd be having him be like, <laughs> believe it, believe it, because you could win, you could win the world title, especially going into pipeline at the, at the last event, because mm -hmm. he's won it before. Fiji being like a kind of a pipe type of wave, mm -hmm. and then Chobu being a pipe type of wave. So the, the tour is really shaping up well for someone like him. Mm -hmm. Now let's switch gears over to the women's world mm -hmm. tour. Sally Fitzgibbon. What are your predictions? I don't know. She's a very, very strong competitor, and um, she seems so determined. And and uh, having that win in Brazil is giving her, you know, getting the wind at her back. 
you know, you've got Steph Gilmore seems to be back, uh, even though she didn't, you know, she didn't win the last event, but she looks strong. Look at the wall on it, just oh. a giant jam turn there, lines it up again in the pocket. Oh. Oh. Wow. Huge carving gouge. Textbook surfing from Steph Gilmore. Oh. Her technique is flawless. They're two completely different types mm -hmm. of surfers. Sally's more technical, like more like uh, machine-like, and Stephanie's more, um, gazelle-like, she's more like, she's a little bit less predictable and she has a little more fluidity to her surfing. I wish there were more women's events, basically. Yeah. Well, we got two <laughs> give, me, uh, give me more to watch, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for stopping in and giving us your insight on the surfing world. That was great, it's always great to have you. Yeah, on. yeah, it's, it's great to be here. Thanks so much. <laughs> of course. Well, that's it for another episode of Inside Ally Sports. Thank you guys for joining us and make sure to subscribe to Ally Sports Network on YouTube so you don't miss a minute of the action. For Inside Ally Sports, I'm Alex Curry. So, uh, where have you been surfing recently? Any secret spots you can let me in on? Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Otherwise, they aren't secrets.